All right, number 26, integral of cosine squared of 2x. Um, by now, if you watch the other videos, that you should be aware that we're making the substitution that if we see cosine squared of something, we're using the fact that cosine squared of x is also 1 half 1 plus uh, the cosine of 2x. Okay, so now we don't have cosine squared of 2x. Uh, so, well, cosine squared of x, we have cosine squared of 2x, right? So cosine squared of 2x by this rule would be 1 half 1 plus cosine of 4x, double what was inside of there. So now I'm going to use this fact. 1 half times the integral of 1 plus the cosine of 4x dx. All right, let's integrate that. We got 1 half, the integral of 1 is x. The integral of cosine is uh, sine of 4x divided by 4, divided by that k, plus c. And if we distribute that 1 half, we end up with x over 2 plus sine of 4x over 8 plus c. Okay, moving on to 27. When I first looked at this problem, I automatically tried to think about the one right before it to see if there was a special rule of sine of 2 theta. And there is a special rule for sine of 2 theta, but it actually makes things much more complicated. Just in case you did go that way, let me just remind you that the sine of 2 theta is 2 sine squared of theta cosine squared of theta. However, I would much rather integrate the sine of 2 theta than this whole thing. So don't go there. All right, next one, I'm going to think, I was just like, okay, well, I've got u substitution stuck in my head, but maybe it's just a rule that I had. And the integral of the sine of some number times x, dx, was equal to the cosine of that number times x divided by, uh, negative, sorry, negative cosine is some, some number times x divided by that number. Well, if that was true, which it is, this would just be negative the cosine of 2x or 2 theta over 2 plus c. And that is the answer right here, e. All right, number 29. We have du over cosine squared of 3u. At this point, um, hopefully, we have done enough that you can recognize that this is the integral of 1 over cosine, which is actually just the secant squared of 3u du. And we need that because the integral of the secant squared is just the tangent. There is a u substitution here. What's going on here um, is that u, or let's call it w again, is 3u. So dw is 3du. And du is just dw over 3. So this really becomes the integral of secant squared of u times dw over 3. Sorry, secant squared of w over times dw over 3. And that just basically becomes 1 third times the tangent of w plus c, which is 1 third. Tan of w would be the tan of 3u plus c. Um, let's just look for that one. 1 third tan of 3u plus c. Option D. All right, guys. Good luck studying.